Anywho, I don't know. Leave me alone. I thought you, the cat even looked over like, oh shit, he's about to yell. <laughs> I know, she did. She's like, oh, he's going to start again. Yeah. She's like, whatever, now. I mentioned in the last video that Summer is the troop leader for the Little Ones troop. And I mentioned that I was going to be helping with a couple um, badges, patches, things. Uh, doing one Sunday, actually, for a uh, marketing type thing for their cookie sales that are coming up. Um, but some of the things that they've done in the past has been really cool, too. Like, they did a uh, uh, journalism scribe thing that I mentioned on, on the last video. I'm kind of looking forward to seeing their final parts of. They, one that I did a, um, one that I was kind of more hands-on for was they all had to design a product. Like, the first thing they had to do is they had to come up with a problem. And then they had to design a product to solve that problem. And then they had to kind of, like, come up with a, a logo for their business. Or they, they had to come up with, like, a business name and, like, a rough logo for their business. And then um, I printed business cards for them. Well, I did a, like, a talk about logos and different logos through, through the years and stuff. And it was really neat to kind of see them as interested in it as I, I I wasn't expecting all of them to be but they were really kind of like geared in and interested and it was really neat to kind of see like how they are like every week that I or every I haven't been here for a while but the the times that I see them getting together as a group and doing stuff as Girl Scouts they are all really kind of um they're all in it like they're not just like some of them, yes. Yeah. Some of them will come and just be like, okay, I'm here. And they'll do the, the least amount of work. But, you know, you get a bunch of group of people together to... You get a bunch of group of people together to do it. And that's why I hated group work and, and school and stuff. Because if, for that reason, um, you know, there, there are those... Some kids that go above and beyond and... Um, but seeing how how much work that summer puts into the troop to keep these kids from being bored out of their minds every other week is and to keep them to keep them interested in what they're learning and to give them things that they're not going to be bored with or they're just going to think as seeing as just more homework you know because that's what they're really kind of doing they're doing more work than the run of the mill like kid their age because like a kid their age has like homework and maybe like yeah you have those kids that are also in sports but a lot of these kids are also in sports and but they're still doing they're like doing work like um they've got to come up with uh they're coming to that age where they're starting to have to learn to run the troop themselves. So they're going to have to start campaigning for different positions in the troop to to make the troop run as smoothly as it does now. And that's not something they can do just Tuesday nights when they're when they're in their meetings, you know. That's something that they're going to have to do on their own time. And there's a lot of stuff that they have to do on their own time that I'm surprised as many as mu or like as many of them bring back the level of stuff that they do. I'm really surprised by that because I remember at her age, I remember me at her age, like I had a hard time wanting to do more than I had to. Like I was really good at school and stuff, but I was not one of those kids that wanted to do extra credit work, mainly because I didn't have to. But at the same time, even if I had that, option to it was like no I won't I don't need to do it I won't I won't worry about it so and none of this stuff is graded or anything they just get out of it what they get out of it it's not something that they have to I'm waiting for the cat to suddenly come into 
with with them running the troop on their own, there's going to be this this period of pure like chaos where they think that oh you know I just show up with this idea and we're going to be able to do all this stuff and there's a lot of preparation that goes into each and every meeting and each field trip and each guest speaker and Badge. Um. Each yeah. Each badge and patch and every. They all have like, you know, requirements. Like there's five there. Sets. Yeah, it's not like you do one thing and you get a badge for it. There's like a there's a list of things that you have to check off, and there there's some flexibilities on how that that patch is done. But at the same time, you still have to re- you have still have to reach those requirements. So, <laughs> I think it's going to be interesting to see how. They'll be like eleven and twelve when yeah. the troop or like twelve or thirteen, I think. What? When the troop is handed over to them fully. Uh like, they'll be about probably from 12. eleven to yeah. They'll be, they'll about be in that, 12. that that range where they think they know everything and they think that they'll they, they'll be able to do it all on their own. And I am I am one of those parents that I relish in watching my daughter struggle in a way more than when she just is able to pick up and do something because I know that there's more to gain from struggling to learn how to do something than it is. But she doesn't like fight the struggle either. Like, I mean, not all the way. Well, I, I, I she's what a- I'm saying is, is like with her, she kind of likes the struggle. It's a game. Like, she likes to play it, like, to get to that end point. I think, I, I th- yeah, she's not one to give up. No. Not and that. that was a small tangent, but when she was having issues with division at first, it was like she didn't want to tell anybody that she was having a problem. She wanted to work through it herself. And then when she started bringing home, like, the, the bad test scores, we were like, hey, what's up with these bad test scores? And then she was just like... I don't get it, I need help. And I'm like, okay, let's work through it. How did you come up with this answer? And she would show me, and I'm like, okay, well, well, let's work out, we'll work through it. And we, we worked out a bunch of stuff, and slowly she started picking it up, and she ran with it. Well, she did it with the flute, too. Yeah, the flute. Yeah, she had, she, she had a problem getting started, but when she got started, oh yeah, she just, she flourished with it. Yeah. So... Um, I don't think a lot of the kids in the Girl Scout troop, though, are going to be able to handle that. I don't think a lot of parents are going to be able to handle to see, like, there are some heavy helicopter parents, and there are going to struggle. There's not many of them, but... There's going to be complaining and struggling, my kid can't do this, or my kid shouldn't have to do this. Or they'll or, try to take over Or they'll try kids. to do it for the kid and so the kid gets nothing out of it. Yeah. The, I know I can probably think of three off the top of my head. <laughs> and, um, but that struggle, I think, for kids, I mean, yes, there is a point that where you have to step in and go, okay, what are you doing wrong? Because some... Like, some kids will do the same thing over and over and over again, expecting to get different responses, and that's just maddening, you know? You, you have to step in and go, okay, maybe What is that, the, the insanity? Oh, like, yeah, 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 the... The, the law of insanity the is... Insanity is doing the same thing, expecting a different result. Right. Um, but at the same time, you, as... And we're, and we're not saying the kids are insane. No, I think the parents could be. <laughs> I'm... I'm in. I'm in the camp to let your kid fail because it's in that failure that they learn how to succeed. Right, and I we're not going to let them fail. And like, we're not going to let them fail. We're and not going to like themselves. pack them with a, a red letter A. Like that's not what we're doing. But like, they need to almost have to dust themselves off. Yeah, they. Well, We'll be like, okay, like, we'll be there to see them fall, but I'm not going to ignore the fall. Right. I'm not going to ignore their down Right, we're not going to keep dust in their you know, face. I'm not going to be like, oh, you failed, suckers. <laughs> right. I yeah. win the bet. <laughs> no, no, no. No. See, I think a lot of parents, 
struggle with that because they don't want to see their kids hurt or fail. Well, and we're not going to hurt them like no, no, ever. No. Like but this isn't going to some like, parents damage believe them that for some some parents believe that failure is pain though. Yeah, but that, I'm not there to scar them for life. Like that's not what's going to happen. Wow, cat. Sunday before the Super Bowl starts, we're doing uh, here at the house. We're having the some of the some cookie of them college. are coming here for a cookie college thing, where they get a little bit more hands-on education about how cookie sales work and how how to promote your booth and right. Some and of they've this been doing it for and, four and a half years. Yeah, they've been but selling cookies for four and a half years. years. But this is more about why are you doing it and what. What are the repercussions of not doing it well? And how do you make things flow a little better? And how do you put a little bit more effort into it? And I'm doing a marketing type thing with them. I don't remember the whole thing exactly. What's marketing? It's, it's doing the whole Summer had, Summer handed me the thing. was like, would you do this with them? And I looked at them like, sure. When is no, it Super Bowl Sunday? No, you it. It's because I, it's the visual basis. I of glanced what, it's like over what you it. Do. Yeah. I what glanced you do for over. work? I market. I'm a marketer. No, you're not. No, I'm not. I don't think I could handle that kind of pressure. But I'll have to. Uh, we'll have to do a uh, follow up on how Sunday goes. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it's Sunday will be okay. Sunday? It will be when really? April when rolls around when they start to have to campaign. Oh, that that could be fun though. Oh, it could be fun, but. I mean, I wish we could show almost like their campaign videos, no. but I can't do that on social media with them. Yeah. Because they're underage. They're underage. So, they're not my children. If they were my children, then, you know, I mean, I could get a signed waiver, but I think that's kind of ridiculous. That's a little weird. So. We have enough things to sign, but. Anywho's! Until next time, losers. <laughs> See you guys.